everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, well, you will say Detroit City finished at uh, Lynn Family Stadium a little bit ago. Uh, City second, Detroit City's second Wednesday night match in as many weeks. Uh, their first league match uh, since May 11th when they uh, took on Phoenix Rising at home. And a match that was a little bit back and forth in the first half. Uh, City comes out in a fourth. Detroit City comes out in a four-three-three shape. Unfortunately, Maxi Rodriguez was not in the lineup tonight, um, so it was Nate Steinwasher in goal, uh, Matt Sheldon at right back, Stephen Carroll, Devin Abomensa, your center back, Brent Levi's left back, uh, midfield three, James Murphy, Ryan Williams, kind of like your um, right central, left central, line job, your central bid. Um, and then three up top, Ben Morris on his right wing, uh, Zee Matthews up top, Ali Kuhn on the left. Louisville had some moments moving the ball out, some close moments, but it was Detroit City that struck first in the 34th minute via Matt Sheldon. A great uh, corner delivery by Ryan Williams creates chaos. Matt Sheldon's happy to oblige. Uh, the goal was originally given to um, Zed Matthews, but edited before the half for um, Matt Sheldon. So, Sheldon's first goal for La Rouge, and things are looking pretty good, but Louisville equalize in the 42nd minute. Artenio Ordonez, uh, great delivery, heads it in. So it's 1-1 at the half, pretty even match. Second half was anything but even. Um, Detroit City were a shell of the side that they were in the first half. A um, couple minutes in chasing, Adrian Perez makes it 2-1 for the host for Louisville City. Then Wilson Harris makes it three in the 61st minute. Jake Morris 4-1 in the 74th. Then Louisville City wins a penalty. And Wilson Harris from the spot in the 84th minute. 5-1 to one the final. Um, Louisville City seemed to have a habit of scoring goals um, at home. This is the... Uh, trying to think how many times they've done this now uh five again five at home against birmingham city five again birmingham legion um five against indy 11 six against hartford and five against us so um but it is shocking to see a detroit city team defensively without uh with the lack of discipline defensively um and I think that needs to be addressed, especially before the men's next matchup. Uh, Saturday night uh, in California, 10 p.m. Eastern kickoff, traveling to take on Orange County. Um, so we'll see if they can quickly adjust, um, especially if it's if Maxi Rodriguez is indeed injured um, and out for not just this match, but for some other ones. Um, if you're in town uh, on Saturday, head to Keyworth, uh, 4 p.m. kickoff for the women, uh, taking on Cleveland Force in W League play. Um, women are very, very good this year, and I highly recommend uh, checking out the team. Um, you know, entertaining football to say the least and also it is the um official start of the uh, northern guard supporters pride razor campaign uh which is benefiting uh ruth ellis center um so if you haven't made your pledges already for uh pride razor uh you can go to that at prideraiser.org uh slash campaigns for northern guard supporters um, see if Adam can drop that link uh, either in the description box of this video or maybe a hyperlink. And, uh, you know, so far, currently um, over $1,500 uh, ha per uh, has been pledged per goal. Um, so and I know it can exceed that. So here is to um, great things for Saturday for the women and improve things for the men in California on Saturday night. So... Who anyone who traveled to Louisville for the match, whether car overnights or if they took the bus, Godspeed. Hope that there's not too much pain tomorrow for any that went. And yeah, that's all I got. Have a great night, everyone, and we continue to go onward.